Hi, I am Agnes from iCreate Art Studio. This is our first class online, so bear with me as I am learning this myself. I'm doing this because my students are stuck at home in this difficult time. So I hope those kind of classes will help them stay busy and creative. We will use simple materials most of students should have at home. I will also give you tips what other items that you likely have at home can be used for arts. Today we will create picture of chameleon. Be sure when you're making a composition, think about the whole piece first and think about how much space you need for the body, for the head and for the amazing tail. Doesn't need to go very low, can be close to the body. The thing is, we need to think about the whole composition right now. So, we can finally see I make this line by a strong thick black marker so you see the line going very very it's very very long it's going behind the head yes so it's gonna be almost use the whole shape I mean the whole size of the line the question is what kind of expression would you like to have so if you're going more naturally this way you look pretty sad so if you don't want to this look you can go a little bit more wiggly and then up, make him more happy. Can be really, really a uh, different way, yes. I'm gonna leave it like that. As you see, the line is end behind the head and it starts from the beginning. So one of the triangle line is gone. That's what's gonna happen. The triangle gonna slowly disappear when we finish the uh, the look of the head make it more natural and more organic.
act with the body so what do we need what shape we need for the body we need oval which is not gonna be the whole piece as you see we need to connect very high the body so the oval connecting like inside yes so this is the rest of the oval it's connecting from the very low bottom of the head like a neck chest part and the very high top and the top I didn't save too much space but the pokey thing is like a detail of his head so I still can connect him a little bit lower and then I can make the top higher
going to back for the rest of the part, I mean for the tail. So we already had nice connection, yes, with the muscle of the leg and connection with the body. It's very smooth, we cannot really, can can be moved a little bit more this way if you want to, yes, it's a, they can, he can move the tail, so if you have more space and you want to use it, you can do it, you can go more like this way, it doesn't need to be a smooth way to connect in. So there you are, you see, I'm, I, try, I try to show you different ideas so can be, use the space and connect the, connect the, tail with the body different way so now he have two tail obviously he cannot have so I'm gonna erase the first idea just the thing is they need to be connect smooth like you don't see the little bit here but very smooth so now I have more, more space and I drawing my spiral line actually double spiral line because that's how I'm gonna control that's how I'm going to control let me clean up first yes this is on the front block the branch so I erasing the now look at this I'm following this line kind of but making a little bit less space between those two lines, yes? So slowly, not not to it's block, it's front of it. You can be roll it, you can go all around of the branch, but let's make more easy way. So let's follow the spiral line. Yes, can be attached with the already line like this, but you see to not be lost, the best things is to still follow two line together. So I'm not gonna be lost okay so this one here I can still have a more space and but I'm following be sure your branch is gone so you're gonna have more so this is kind of little bit space between all those two there you are so we in, inside now this is extra space so we can still see the branch here So this is another step and then the most important is the texture of interesting roughy pokey and bumpy skin when we can see closer the pocket of the of the of the camel over here you can really see the round bumpy Texture, and we're going to use this idea, okay, to create the texture just by simple shapes connecting together. And most of them, if I if I can see closer, I can see the the kind of skin bumpy uh, idea following the mouth line. So it's basically like yeah, it's a one top and the bottom. It's not a teeth, don't be confused. It's just the texture of the skin. As you see, I'm kind of follow and making more and they can be different size.
you need to decide what color is going to be your chameleon I suggest you well it's your decision but I suggest you maybe stay with two three colors <clears throat> maybe four but not more because then your project gonna start to be too more too much uh, too complicated and actually uh, when we can observe the picture of the chameleons they can be very colorful but if, if we start to counting the colors they not that many like we like we can imagine so this is regular markers kids markers so what is soluble if your paper is enough strong you can work hard like you can put a lot of the colors so if your paper is too too thin be careful because the wet ink can be even destroy your paper so if you have a little bit more thicker paper you fine if not be careful to not put too much ink on it i just decided to do by markers most of the people have most of the kids have markers at home yes can be smaller can be bigger uh, if you don't have markers you can use pencil crayons or even you can use watercolors to cover the uh, chameleon so i decide to use more natural colors so i'm gonna take light and dark shade maybe a little bit of blue and some yellowish colors contrast colors extra so basically it's like a green blue and yellow so this is orange is close to the yellow so i said three the, i'm counting this one as a as a one uh, color another one so one two and okay let's say four but also they i take this one to shade my colors from dark yellow to light yellow
marbling beside the yellow head so it gives me more shade and more illusion of 3D creature. Obviously, if you want to, you can still continue to make. I use the dark green for the for the branch. I don't want to involve too many colors. Well, we need to cover the all white spot. Can be mixed by darker blue. So I still stay with my the same colors. Now the extra element of the nature rant but I still try to stay in the same colors. You can make the nature all around by by your marker if you don't have anything else it takes time but why not you can do that then you can involve extra colors i try to find out extra what can work let's see the gray color okay can be mixed obviously you need to be different and maybe less bright than your chameleon so you can see your chameleon still and this time you see the straight movement of your of your marker you can very easily give you the illusion of some I don't know needle uh, needle leaves or kind of nature behind we're not gonna get focused we just want a color yes so oh, this is too too similar to my chameleon that yes that's the thing try to take less I'm gonna try now light blue and the gray the light blue is pretty dark so yeah or if you have watercolors, you need to make them very watery. The best thing is the liquid one, but obviously most of you it's not gonna be here. So I make my one of my color, maybe two similar color. I stay monochromatic and be careful to not go too much on your guy because it's the, your markers, the kids marker, they water soluble so we don't want to kind of like activate the, the activate the ink. So I quickly cover this one by watercolor paint. So thank you very much. This is the end. This is the final project, what we do today. I, I hope you enjoy and you learn a little bit and you have fun. And I hope you have the simple materials what we use today. And next time I give you some solution for another project and also some simple material what you can find out in this hard time in a home. So stay safe everybody, don't go shopping for art material, I show you some ideas what you can use wherever you have around in your home. Thank you, bye!